What's up guys, going to be a quick fun video showing you how to use the new DL100 iPhone tester boards. Um, this is a machine designed, here's my little silicone case of course, but this is a machine designed to test iPhone LCD screens. This one in particular is for the 6S through the 8 Plus, but they make them to test iPhone screens all the way up to the 11 Pro Max. Now I'm gonna show you how to assemble this thing. First of all, you're gonna plug it in. A normal USB-C connector comes with the machine. You're gonna plug it in. Oh, there's that beep that I like. Every time I flip the switch in the morning, that beep comes on and that's how I know work has begun. Now you're gonna take just like any RAM card you've ever seen, you're gonna take your uh, tester board, comes with all of them, you're gonna slide it in there. This one is for the eight, the regular eight screen. You're gonna push it in, but if you push it in there, you're gonna hear it click, but you wanna make sure that both sides click. So you wanna push on both sides. They certainly did click. Now, uh, you got two screws that come with this thing. Slap them in. Pretty simple, just be real gentle. When you think about these machines, when you think about these boards, you're gonna be using the same board for a very long time and you don't want to ruin your own board. So be very careful with your connectors, be very careful with the board, with the machine. You don't wanna buy this thing again. So then he comes with a magnet too, just to be sure. Now don't, I'm gonna be a martyr for the cause here. I'm gonna show you what not to do. Don't slap this magnet down on the tester board like your significant other something. S like that, don't do that. Now you wanna slide it. You wanna come from the side and slide it in, like slide in. Slide off, slide in. It's nice and easy. Now I wanna show you how to get down to business. Oh, you've got your two tester cables there. I'm just going to show you testing the screen now, not copying the data from another screen. So plug in both connectors, they should fit easily. Then you are able to fold it over. Uh, your frame's gonna scratch your thing up if you don't have a silicone case, so get a silicone case. We're gonna turn it on. Now you can see this LCD, I picked a couple at random. This LCD's got a, maybe you can't see, but if you can see, it is not okay. That's what the face is for. Um, you can tell it's aftermarket. It doesn't have a regular force touch. It has a uh, sort of gimmick force touch where you push down hard and it's like a timer goes on. A timer goes, anyways, you can continue to test the device. You've got the force touch test. You've got the regular touch test. Another sign of an aftermarket screen is uh, it doesn't go all the way to the edge when you're doing that. See that little, you can see it doesn't go all the way. If we move fast, we can tell it loses us. That's definitely an aftermarket screen. Continue on. Now we can really see where this LCD does not shine. There are random green spots on the edges. We have a black to white top to bottom test a black to white bottom to top test. It is clearly failing. Then we have a blue screen, still failing. Green screen, that looks okay. Red screen, white screen, and then back to force touch. Now, uh, now I'm gonna show you, while the device is on, how to change the tester board so that we can test the next device. After I've documented everything that's wrong with this device, I can unplug it while it's off. Display on or off right there is the red button. Unplug our connectors. Now, you're gonna to wanna to click model switch. All right, my bad. You're gonna to wanna to hold model switch. And uh, cover open is now going to change from green to yellow. I'm gonna show you more clearly. If you hold model switch, Changes from yellow to green. Hold it again. Green to yellow. Now, we, now that it's yellow, we're gonna slide our magnet off like it's our friend. Take both screws out. 
Sometimes I use tweezers, sometimes I use my fingers. My fingers, honestly, these days feel like a safer approach. But uh, you can use your fingers or you can use two spudgers, but uh, you're gonna wanna pop this out like a ram board by pushing these two sides in and then moving up slowly. It's coming out, boom. Now, as far as these tester boards, like I said, take care of them. Let me find my other A plus testing board. There we have it. I keep the uh, tester boards in these nice, soft cases here. Not cases, but uh, I take the A-plus out. Slide it back in. Like I said, we take care of these things, so we're gonna slide the... I have more than one of each copy. We're gonna face them away from each other. We're gonna save the eight somewhere else. And cover open is still yellow. Now we're gonna insert diagonally, push down and in. Both connectors are down. Put our magnet on, slide it on. Screw, 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 screw. Now, we hold our model switch button down and uh, we can test our A plus screen. I'm gonna show you a couple more features and then the video is gonna be over. We're gonna plug this in. Now you can already tell from what I'm looking at here. We've got another aftermarket screen we're plugging in here, but we're gonna test it. It seems to be Looking good so far. Uh oh. We're going to refit our connectors. Boom, we're on. Force touch. This has a genuine force touch here. Uh oh. Let's push a couple buttons. But well, we have a genuine force touch here. You can tell it's like a, it's like a real force touch because it goes back and forth like that as you change pressure. Now we can tell, now I'll tell you what, I know this is aftermarket, but oh, what's going on there? There we go, there we go. I'm gonna test that one more time. For the customer, you don't want this stuff to suck. That's good. Black screen. Black to white, white to black. That's not white to black, but um, then we have blue, green, red, white. Now, while we're on the white screen, I'll show you real quick. Besides page up and down, which switches through the modes, we also can change the brightness. We can turn the brightness up, we can turn the brightness down. That commits to a loop of brightness down all the way to the max brightness, and then it keeps going down. But uh, our other button is data recovery. That has to do with retrieving data from another screen and basically implanting it onto this screen. So uh, you probably have machines that do that and just that, but this does both. This tests your LCD for functionality and it uh, codes screens for you with the original Apple code. So. Uh, this is probably one of the most fruitful tools I have here at the shop, and I recommend it. I, I got it for just like 260 bucks. That's American USD dollars, and um, this is great. Now the iPhone X to XS Max model machine is like 290 dollars, and that comes separately. Now you have to buy different machines for the 6S through the 8 Plus, for the X through the XS Max and for the 11 
through the 11 Pro Max. So that's three different machines that cost uh, average of $290 a piece. Now, uh, I do recommend this if you do work like me and uh, it, it's gonna make your money up at the end. It's gonna make you at least the money to buy these things. But uh, yeah, just wanted to showcase that real quick. As long as your display's off, you can go ahead and start unplugging this stuff and you're safe to go. Unplug while it's off. And I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you very much for watching.